Welcome to the maze. I've just come into the maze. This is the very beginning. We have our small avatar that's sitting on a map and there's not much to map. There's just the first square. You can kind of see it behind her. The first thing, you're given a description of where you are. You're in a room, number 101. You're told that you must correctly answer the questions before you may move. Notice there's no moving arrows. And if I press the arrow on my computer, nothing really happens. I've got this question. I have to answer it. The answer to this question happens to be 60. So I press enter. We get a little yes animation. I can take a step. So I've got this little arrow keyboard. If you use a computer, you can use the arrows on your computer. We have another question. Every time you answer a question correctly, you get points. Sometimes there's hidden magical objects. Those points are in the form of gold. We have two gold coins because we answered that first question correctly. And we found a bag of magic chalk. I didn't point that out when that happened. Let's see what happens on the second room. March 30th, and I'm gonna press enter. We have earned two gold coins because we got that answer correct. And we found a bag of holding, whatever that happens to be. But it's a magical object and it goes into our magical object collection down here. Once you get a whole bunch of this, you can scroll through this stuff and it tells you how much gold you have. And anytime you get a question right, you get gold. Anytime you get a question wrong, you lose gold. You're trying to get as much gold as possible. If you're trying to get some magical objects. You have rooms and you have hallways and all the rooms are locked and you need magical objects to get into them. But after you've been playing for a while, it maps out your every step. So you can see that I've been moving around for a while. But once you have more than 100 cells, it will make a game out of it for you. It makes a little Pac-Man game. And if I go to a new cell, it ends the Pac-Man game, but it brings you back to the answering math questions game. I'll show you what happens when I come to a new door. I know that I have a room right here. And it says a whole mischief of rats is blocking your entr entrance. Gross, yes, but you need to get through. This is a locked door. I can go and look at my magical objects. I've got a whole bunch of them. So I have a spool of thread, a spooky axe, a spatula. I don't think a spatula would be great use against rats. I've got magic chalk, a key, a haunted hemp, a golden compass, a big electric cat, a black hole, a bag of magic beans, a bag of holding, and a babel fish. I'm thinking a big electric cat is a cat, and rats hate cats, and cats like to eat rats, so I'm gonna use the big electric cat. So I can just kind of click on that and when I do, that answer appears up here in my what am I going to do box. Right, use a big electric cat and then I press enter. And if it's a good answer, then it'll bring me into that room. It will give me a new question. There are 26 across by 23 high. That's a lot of cells. There's 598 cells. 598 questions altogether. Get them right, you get points. See as and you get these magical objects. Here's where my points are collected, my gold is collected, and here's my magical object. And as you saw every once in a while, once you have over 100 cells answered, it becomes a little game. Once you have accumulated 100 cells, it becomes this little game, and your goal is to not get eaten by the monster. And it will hunt all over the maze till it finds you. It's not a terribly smart monster, so it's not effectively hunting for you. It's just randomly going into rooms. It will try and avoid a room if it's already been in there. Other than that, it's kind of random. The annoying music that you're hearing will go away once you eat all of the little tiny coins. These are gold coins. Every time you eat one, you get a little message. So you have found a gold coin by 322 gold coins. If I get eaten, I lose 100 gold coins. So you can see the number of gold coins going up. Once you start moving again, it'll restart the game. I want to get back to answering questions, so I'm just going to step into a, onto a blank cell. When I step, it says, oh, the game stops. We we're brought back to answering questions. What happens if you get a question wrong? If you get a question wrong, let's say I put 78. Okay, you lose a point. That answer was incorrect. You have lost a gold coin. And then I have, you have to press OK. If you press OK, you can go on and answer. Five. Like that. Okay, and I answered correctly, so I get a gold coin. You can't have negative full coins, by the way. Once you get down to zero, it just keeps it at zero until you get more gold coins. So you can't go into gold coin debt. Well, that's the maze game. There's lots and lots of questions here. All the questions are from the Waterloo Gauss math competitions and from the Canadian National Mathematics League math competitions. And there are a few questions from the Kangaroo math competitions. And have a good day.